Welcome to episode four of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we continue our flashback series featuring View Studio and Lynx Enterprise with a video detailing how to add compact and control logics processors to Iris Lynx Enterprise's local tab. In the communication setup window of Iris Lynx Enterprise, I'll now add in three separate shortcuts to point to three separate logic based processors. I'll add in a control logic. I'll add in a compact logic. And I'll add in a flex logic. Now remember not to put any spaces or non alphanumeric characters in your shortcut names. Okay, now I'll go ahead and click on my Ethernet driver and let my local tab Ethernet driver browse for the PLCs. In this case you can see for the control logics it'll be sitting in a 1756 chassis and I'll access it through a 1756 EMVT Ethernet card. So I'll expand the card, expand the backplane or chassis and then I'll see all the devices in that chassis. And in this case I want to use the very first very first processor. So to make an application between the shortcut and the processor we select the shortcut name, the processor name and press apply. Now for the compact logic it's going to be very similar. I'm going to select the compact logic shortcut. I'm going to expand the Ethernet card for the compact logic and the backplane and see the processor and then press apply. Again I can select the shortcut and the processor to ensure the apply button ha is grayed out. Now in my last item, the flex logics, I actually don't have one on my network. So I'm going to go ahead and add this manually. I'll right click add device. I'll go ahead and select my 1788 Ethernet card for the Flex Logics. Give it a valid address on my subnet. And then on the chassis, I'll add in the actual 1794 processor. And at this point, I'll select the Flex Logic shortcut, the processor, and press apply. Now one other thing I can do with logic based processors here on the local tab for development that I can't do with older Slick 500 and PLC5s is choose an offline tag file to browse for tags. This file must be located on your local hard drive. It cannot be located across the network. In this case I'll choose that program and again I want to make sure that when I select the shortcut name and select the processor that that tag file is still there. You can see I did not have the shortcut name selected, so I'll have to browse for it again. And now I can hit the apply button. Again, always double check, select your shortcut name, select your processor, and ensure that that tag file still shows up. And that's how to set up your local tab for logic based processors. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available, click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.